this is bright line from the Coalition uh, Conference here in Toronto, the technology conference with 25,000 participants. And I'm very happy to have Tim Draper here, a 33-year uh, venture uh, investor, and he's also a very uh, good specialist on uh, on blockchain and, and, and Bitcoin, as you can see from, from your Yeah, side. I have a Bitcoin tie. <laughs> In any case, I'm promoting right, right. it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Tim, just uh, as a startup, what, what are you expecting from this conference and what did you uh, find in highlights? Uh, so well, this has been a great conference. Um, thanks for having me on your show. Um, I have uh, I've met a, a wide variety of people. I think that uh, I've learned a lot about Toronto, and I, I was here 20 years ago, and now <laughs> I'm back, and uh, I don't think it'll be another 20 years before I come back. I, I really enjoyed the, the energy, the excitement behind all these entrepreneurs. I think this is a great conference. Yeah, it's also a conference about technology, and blockchain is one of the important technologies, which is uh, uh, there to establish trust between the peer network we are in the world. Mm -hmm. And you talked about, you know, we are becoming a more a global hive of people and it's not so much about governments and, and nations. So what is the importance uh, of blockchain in, in your environment? So, um, so here in the venture capital business, we're always looking for new technologies that can potentially transform industries. And so uh, when the internet came around, we were very excited and we funded a lot of companies and the internet transformed communications and information and gaming and entertainment uh, media. Um, but now we have new technologies and they, they start with Bitcoin, this, this um, magic technology that has somehow allowed us to have a trusted global currency yeah. that uh, isn't tied to any political force and it's open, transparent, global, um, frictionless. And, and, uh, and the technology that built uh, Bitcoin also has other applications. So for instance, uh, the blockchain uh, allows for a perfect ledger. It keeps perfect track of money or it could also keep perfect track of data yeah and the and a smart contract is a uh, a contract that's built into software so you don't have to define whether different words mean different things we all know where the money goes and so that smart contracts could end up being really a very important part of commerce and business going forward and then on the other side we have all this data and data is going is getting more and more important as we can do more and more things with it. Yeah. And as data evolves um, and, and people do this um, deep learning on the data, they can create artificial intelligence. They can create an intelligence by making judgment calls based on the data and the smart learning they've, or the deep learning they've done. Well, if you start combining those technologies, they're bigger than the internet ever was. You have the ability to transform insurance and, well, not just banking and commerce and finance, it's, it's things like insurance and real estate, healthcare, government, all of these things have the potential to be completely transformed. And this is the time. And I feel like those industries are 10 to 100 times bigger than the industries that were affected by the internet. So we're in a big opportunity. So it's a big disruption of how we work together and it's not only economic but it's also how societies work, work together. Because we are from the Project Management Institute and Brightline, we are leading this project and project management in, in, a, in, a, in a modern fashion is a, is a very young profession. You know, we are only 50 years old and it's about 50 years since the uh, US Department of Defense started with that. So did you run in, in your business in, in some project management uh, uh, corners? Yeah, it turns out that every entrepreneur is a project manager. It is. They have a vision, they have a direction they want to head. Sometimes it evolves, but generally they want to go somewhere and they want to take their team with them and they have to organize the project. And it's one project after another to finally get to the vision. And, uh, and, and project management is like the key to success in any business. You, you need to, I mean, whether you're producing a movie or you're creating a, a new 
uh, internet company or you're, you're transforming the world through, through decentralization. In every case, you're going to need to organize people, get them going in some direction, and move forward. And we mentioned Bitcoin and blockchain. It's interesting. You can actually have um, automated payments that are tied to various tasks in your project management. Um, and I'll give you a, a movie example. You know, when Lucasfilm has all those credits that come after a Star Wars film, like 15,000 people have to get paid about 25 cents every, every quarter. And it costs Lucasfilm about $7 to send those checks. Well, now all of that can be built into a Bitcoin wallet, into Bitcoin wallets. And so the, the waterfall of money will come in and, and it can be even more efficient than that. It can be like, you go to the movie theater, here's your $20. It then spreads all the way through the waterfall and, and that guy who was the assistant to the assistant to the lighting guy gets his 25 cents worth, his .0001 Bitcoin into his wallet immediately. And so the flow is, is immediate yeah. and, uh, and projects will be much more efficient. So I believe that Bitcoin and all of these other technologies are gonna have a major effect on project management. Thank you, and you know, this is as good as it gets. That Tim Draper really acknowledged the importance of project management. Thank you very much. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs>